Welcome Sagittarius to your weekly reading. This is for the 16th to the 23rd of September. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Sagittarius, I'm starting off with your oracle card. This is going to give us our core theme for the week. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to see all the possibilities, opportunities and experiences coming through for you. So my dear Sagittarius, we are going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row are your possible challenges, if any. The third row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fourth row is the possible outcome of the week. Sagittarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Sagittarius, your core theme this week is number eight, community. And when we get community, it speaks to us of belonging, being seen and understood by others, about like-minded connections. It's a sense of family and friendship and knowing your place in the world. So we will soon see how this is going to be coming up for you this week. I'm going to be starting off over here with the devil and we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what this devil energy is for Sagittarius, please. The Eight of Cups. Well, this is very positive, my dear Sagittarius, because what we are seeing for you right at the beginning of the week is that whatever the devil represents to you, and that, my dear Sagittarius, is whatever is making you feel like that, you are leaving behind. But you are leaving it behind for good, because once you burn something, it ceases to exist in its original state and you're moving on to a new day. Now Sagittarius, this devil energy is going to be so different for everybody. That is why I said it makes you feel like that. That energy of not knowing what to do, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. It could be a situation you find yourself in, it could be a relationship you are in, where you feel chained and you cannot see a way out. With the devil energy, there is always possibility, my dear Sagittarians, that there is an element of toxicity that is running through it. So if you, say, are extremely unhappy at work, the devil could be your boss or a particular colleague that is giving you an incredibly hard time and making your life at work miserable. They could be speaking to you badly, humiliating you in public yelling at you and truly giving you this energy of what am I going to do? How am I going to get out of this? The devil, my dear Sagittarians, could be a romantic partner and the relationship is just not working and your partner doesn't appreciate you. They don't see you. They don't value you. And you know, my dear Sagittarians, you've got to move on. Now, I do feel that for a lot of my Sagittarians, this energy of community is going to be stepping in for you when you make your decision to move out of the devil energy. This is your first message, my dear Sagittarians. So whoever has your back right now and whatever community means to you, you know, my dear Sagittarians, we just need one person to be our community, one person to be there for us, to have our back. And it makes the world of difference. But what I am seeing is that right at the beginning of this week, either, my dear Sagittarians, you are already in the process of moving out of this devil energy, or you're going to start making big plans to move out. I see strong, bold action here. Let us move on now and see what Seven of Cups is all about for you that is sitting in your possible challenges. So we want to see now what Seven of Cups is 
Or Sagittarius, please. The Three of Pentacles. Now, Sagittarius, what I'm seeing for you as a possible challenge is that if you are in Seven of Cups energy, and here we can see all your dreams, wishes, and plans just up there in the clouds, and you thinking and pondering, how am I going to do this? How am I going to manage this? How am I going to pull this off? Sagittarius, you're being told so beautifully that this is the week you work with the Three of Pentacles energy, which represents whatever community is for you. This is the time, my dear Sagittarius, to look at what either the devil is or what plans and dreams you have had that have just not manifested, but that are extremely important to you. And for some of my Aquarians, I think there's great possibility that the devil energy and Seven of Cups are very connected. Seven of Cups could be the energy of just dreaming and wishing of what you could be and do in order to get out of the devil energy. Your challenge this week is to work with Three of Pentacles, your community, your network. Whoever you can call upon, my dear Sagittarians, this is the time. So, for example, if you are desperately unhappy at work, but you cannot leave work because you need your income. But you also understand that you cannot stay in this environment much longer. It is so detrimental to you and what you believe and who you are. And you dream about being in a job and working for a boss where you feel like you belong, where you feel like you can contribute and speak up and give suggestions. Now is the time to start speaking to your network. This could be friends, family, ex-bosses, ex-colleagues, anybody that you can think of. My dear Sagittarians, write a list, contact them one by one. Have you heard of any jobs going? Do you know anybody who's looking for somebody with my skill set? Don't be shy. Put yourself out there. This is the week to get out there and use your community because it's coming through twice. There's a vibrating energy here waiting for you that will bring a dream down from the spiritual realm right into the physical realm and manifest for you. Let's see now what Three of Swords is all about for you that is sitting in messages and advice from spirit. Right, let us see now what Three of Cups is for Sagittarius, please. Nine of Cups, my gosh. What a message coming through from Spirit, my dear Sagittarius. This Three of Swords energy is very connected to our Devil energy. And Spirit wants me to know what some of my Sagittarians have been through. Now, as you can see from this card, this, my dear Sagittarians, is not an easy energy. This is an energy of true, deep core hurt that breaks your heart. However, my dear Sagittarius, as I said right in the beginning when I pulled these two cards, something very positive is going to be coming through for you because Spirit confirms for us that you are going to be moving out of this Three of Swords energy, this Devil energy, into Nine of Cups. Now please look at the different energy of these two cards. This week, my dear Sagittarians, you have possibility of experiencing Nine of Cups, which is the Wish Fulfillment Energy. And this is going to come through as soon as you work and bring your community and whatever that represents to you into the equation. And like I said, my dear Sagittarians, it doesn't have to be a huge group of people. Even if there is just one person that you can reach out to and that will come through for you, that will make the world of difference. That takes you out of this energy and places you in the energy of wanting to jump for joy. So Sagittarius, we now know how strong it is that you are able to bring your dream down 
onto the physical realm. You know, Sagittarius, it's a very interesting thing. We are all so reluctant to ask people to help us in some way. And it's completely understandable. It's not the easiest thing to do. These are not easy phone calls. With the community message coming through twice, my dear Sagittarians, I feel you're going to be pleasantly surprised this week regarding who comes through for you and who wants to step up and help you. And you know, Sagittarius, you don't have to put yourself out there completely, especially if you're still feeling our Three of Swords devil energy in some way, which makes you feel quite vulnerable. You can send a text message, you can send an email, and if they never respond, well, you've lost nothing. Do it in a way that's easy and gentle for you. But there is great possibility here regarding you reaching out, speaking, networking, and connecting to people that are going to be there for you, my dear Sagittarius, in one way or another. So, my dear Sagittarians, speak up, because with Nine of Cups coming through, and it's coming through from Spirit, we know there's something substantial here. Right, let us move on now and see what the wheel is all about that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now what the wheel is for Sagittarius, please. And you have got Six of Swords. Now Sagittarius, this is a wonderful outcome of the week. We couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Six of Swords tells us so beautifully what we saw with Eight of Cups, that you walk away and you leave our Devil Energy and Three of Swords behind completely. For all of my Sagittarians who have experienced that broken heart energy, as you can see she's wrapped in a red shawl here representing the broken heart, this too is going to be released dramatically as confirmed by Spirit. You are moving on from this energy, my dear Sagittarians, and the wheel tells us of a big, significant change from the Devil and Three of Swords into Nine of Cups. How you bring it in, when you bring it in, is entirely up to you, my dear Sagittarius. The wheel coming in, we know that a big, positive change is about to take place for you. Right, let's move on now and see what your spirit animal is for this week. Right, let us see now what Sagittarius' spirit animal is for this week, please. And you have number eight, Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery. My dear Sagittarians, the number eight has repeated twice for you that this is a lucky number for you this week. So any combination or variation of the number eight, please consider very auspicious. The bobcat is your spirit animal. So wherever the bobcat comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is, life is a mystery. And you know, my dear Sagittarians, we can be going through the devil energy and the three of swords energy. And then in a matter of days, we find ourselves in Nine of Cups energy, experiencing a very big and significant change in our lives. And this is the beauty and the joy of life's mystery. And I do feel for many of my Sagittarians, you will be feeling this this week. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I am sending you all so much love.